hello my viewers and welcome back to my youtube channel if you've been looking for a place to find lettuce gist then this here is the right place for you and if you're new here then don't forget to subscribe like and comment on the videos okay so now let's get into today's video it turns out that elections or voting rather becomes a very serious topic that needs to be addressed i know it has always been but in this video vivek ramaswani i don't know if that's the correct pronunciation but you're gonna forgive me if it's not um he is an indian american presidential candidate and this was his reply on one of the comments where this person was asking him about his stance or notion on 18 to 25 year olds being able to vote i know this is going to bring a lot of noise but let's take a look at his video so let's talk about this i actually want more young people to vote and to be engaged in the political process heck i am a young person i didn't vote in my 20s i want more people not to make the same mistake i did but you got to know something about the country to value it so my view is young or old Everybody in this country has got to know the same thing about the country that every immigrant has to know in order to become a voting citizen. That makes sense. If I could do that for everybody, I would absolutely do it. But realistically, you can't take something away from somebody who's 40 years into the process of voting. You got to start with a blank slate somewhere. So my basic view is every high school student should be able to pass the same civics test that every immigrant has to pass in order to become a voting citizen. And yes, tests aren't for everybody, but if not, then six months of service to the country. That seems like a fair bargain. I think it'd make our founding fathers proud. I knew this was going to bring a lot of noise on social media and it did like always there's always people to reply to such people or their videos there's about 17,000 plus comments on this feed I know right this is a topic of public interest because it affects everyone through the decisions that um, are going to be made by voting the young the old the poor the middle class the elite it's everyone guys so Let's look at some of the Stitch videos and let's talk afterwards. ...to pass the same civics test. Hi Vivek, it appears that you're not going to be able to pass that basic civics test that you so badly want because you can't even remember the reason why we chose to stop using tests to determine who could and could not vote. People between the ages of 18 and 25 had great grandparents, grandparents, some of our cases parents, alive during the civil rights movement. We understand that literacy tests were used to disenfranchise black and other minority voters at the polls. So in a video that could potentially reach millions of people you just admitted that you want to implement the exact same policies that led us to a civil rights movement in the first place because you are alluding to the fact that you don't like the particular way that young people are voting and you think that they're uninformed about politics maybe young people just don't like your party's policies and maybe the reason young people don't like your party's policies is because they are the reason why a civil rights movement ensued across the united states of america in the 1950s and 60s that seems like a fair bargain i think it'd make our founding fathers proud we're not interested in fair bargains. You're not negotiating our rights down. Do you understand that, everybody? Listen up. This man's running for presidency, Vivek Ramaswamy, and he wants to take away the rights of people who turn 18 and immediately are granted under the Constitution the right to vote. He wants to take that right and put a contingency on it saying, ah, but when you turn 18, you got to pass an immigration test that I had to pass. Or you can just go serve in the military if you're not a good test taker. So either you're as smart as the rich kids who are going to get a better education that can take that test immediately, have supervision and, and tutoring, and can pass that test so that right when they're 18 they can make a Republican vote and kill this country a little more. But if you're a poor, if you don't take tests well, if you don't study good, well then you can go serve your country in the military that's what he wants to do and he's saying well that's a, i think that's a fair bargain i think the founding fathers would stand behind that but so let's talk about this vivek taxation without representation is what since you're running for office i expect you to know the answer to this why don't you just tell them the truth by 2026 millennials and gen z will be the majority voters in this country and while it doesn't seem like you have a shot at presidential office now, you know that majority of Gen Z do not like the GOP for a multitude of reasons. And so rather than letting them have their say and make this country look like what they want it to be, you want to take their right away, their right to vote. Who is your PR and why did they let you on this app? My God people to vote and to be engaged like the way to secure a presidency right now to get the young people to vote for you get in a g-string cover yourself in oil and show us the recoil you have 24 hours to secure the presidency 
I am a young person. I didn't vote in my 20s. I want more people not to make the same mistake. Oh, okay. This is a midlife crisis. That makes so much more sense. I think you are not someone that surveys would call a young voter. You have been above the legal voting age for 20 years. You turned 18 in 2003. I was nine in 2003 and I'm almost 30. I'm not considered a young voter. The amount of flip-flopping that you do in terms of your stance on young people voting, it's hard to deny that you're a grifter. You want people under 25 to pass a civics test about basic U.S. history in order to have the legal right to vote, which, let's pretend for a second that doesn't already have Supreme Court precedent as being unconstitutional, but you wouldn't even pass it. Remember during the debate when you said that the U.S. Constitution is what won us the Revolutionary War? It was written four years after the Revolutionary War ended, and it wasn't even the first document to ingrain law in the United States. The first document was the Articles of Confederation, which didn't even work, Vivek. That's why we have the Constitution, because it replaced the Articles of Confederation. I don't know where it would behoove you to have people take a test to prove how smart they are in order to get the right to vote, because the only people voting for you are idiots. I actually want more young people to vote and to be engaged in the political process. I've never once made a video on TikTok with the intention or hope that it goes viral. This is going to be an exception. So if you happen to see this, please share it, repost it, whatever. But Vivek, yeah, let's get into this because you see on stage in front of the whole world, you pointed out that you want to raise the minimum voting age from 18 to 25. Those were your words. And when you come to TikTok to connect with the youth of America, and you have a commenter calling you out on that, that was your golden opportunity to say, you know what, I've changed my stance on that. But you didn't. You doubled down on it, adding a bunch of flowery, bullshitty language, hoping that the youth of America or anybody else watching would overlook what your intention is, which in reality is to disenfranchise the youth of America. Now, number one, the youth of America isn't that fucking stupid. And number two, now that you've come to TikTok, to try to connect with these young people. Number one, I'm going to suggest maybe you stop insulting their intelligence. But number two, you need to understand they're not going to fall for bullshit. And they're watching you a whole lot closer than you realize. And yes, tests aren't for everybody. But if not, then six months of service to the country. That seems like a... F oh, Vivek. So you want 18-year-olds to pass a civics test. And if they don't, then they have to serve six months in the military to be able to vote? How about this? In order for politicians to vote on women's reproductive rights, they need to take and pass a maternal, fetal, as well as reproductive health biology and anatomy and physiology exam. We can make sure that they really know what they're voting on. Isn't that what you said? Why 18 year olds may not be ready to vote? Oh, and let's throw in this one too. In order for politicians to make any statements or render any public opinions or vote on climate change, you all need to pass a test. Make sure you know what you're voting on. And in order to make any public statements or cast any votes regarding mental health or LGBTQIA issues, you need to pass a test and be certified to make sure you know what you're actually talking about. Now that sounds like a fair bargain. You want Gen Z to pass a test and serve in the military to cast one vote while you legislate over billions of people without a goddamn clue what you're saying? I'll say it again. Welcome to TikTok. And you still haven't gotten back to me about my challenge. I'm waiting. Away from somebody who's 40 years into the process of voting, you got to start with the... Well, you have to start somewhere, of course. Although, you're not really starting somewhere with the younger generation, are you? Of course, we all know the GOP has been uh, taking away people's rights for a while now. Uh, women's rights. Uh, people of color and especially, more recently, the LGBTQ community. Republicans are very good at taking away people's rights. But when it comes to voting rights, you know what? Just the young, because they don't have the knowledge. that They need to learn first. Uh, what they're really saying is they need time to uh, change the educational system in this country uh, to twist their minds so that they vote for them but they're still taking away people's rights, aren't they? 
First thing first, what is voting? Well, this is a formal expression of opinion or choice made by an individual or board of individuals, especially in an election. Now, this becomes very important because the decisions made during an election affects the citizens in the long run, either positively or negatively. More reason, I believe voter education sensitization should be very important. Why? Because it provides potential voters with the necessary information to make informed choices in the voting booth. Now, the reason why voters' education is very important is because it ensures that everyone understands their rights, political system, the contest they are being asked to decide, and how or where to vote. Are you telling me that if an 18 to 25 year old is given a proper voter education, they can't understand or make an informed decision? Because what I know is that a person who is 18 years and above is an adult. To make matters worse, youth should even be the majority of people that need to take part in political related activities. I believe we are the future leaders and we need to take interest in political issues as early as 18. So one of the reasons why we have a lot of adults who are not interested in political participation is because of such notions. The problem is that these adults were taught not to be interested in political issues as soon as they were considered adults. It then becomes so difficult at a later stage now to try and get these people to be so involved in these issues. I don't know if I'm the only one looking at it this way, but I would like us to go through the comments and just hear what people had to say about this let's check them out this one says dude google history questions on older folks even they fail to answer correctly nice try next argument another one says can't take can't take something away after 40 years a woman's right to choose her own health care for example there's a lot from people and this one says put this same energy towards this running for office start there first every person running for or in office should be able to pass this test including himself already we have had um, his political agenda now this makes you wonder how many things he would change if people voted for him that's if people can even do that even after hearing what he said let's not even lie this uh-uh no guys it was a miss so so many backlash from both youths and elderly people he just wasn't supposed to say that he wasn't in fact i feel that should have been an opportunity for him to say you know what i have changed my stance on this and uh, taking back my words but no he decided to worsen up things if he had used uh, this chance correctly i feel it, uh, it would have positively benefited him and his campaign but no 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 Thank you for watching guys this is a very interesting topic that you need to comment on so i will be waiting to hear your your comments or rather your thoughts in the comment section so from now for now uh, it's a bye-bye and see you in my next video